Hey guys, I'm Jeremiah Wright, the digital marketing strategist here at TV44, and today I have a question for you. Who is God to you? And who is He to me? The Christian mantra is that He should be the most important person in our lives, but do our actions really reflect that? In Mark 12:30, Jesus tells us, And you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. Doesn't that sound like a tall order? We tend to think that each one of those is separate, that our heart belongs to our spouse, that our soul, well, okay, sure, God can have our soul. Our mind belongs often to our employer, and I'll keep my strength to myself. But really, those words today mean something different than they did 2,000 years ago. Back then, when Jesus said heart, He meant the core of who you are. All the things that make you, you, your personality, and things like that, that's your heart. Your soul means the literal breath of life that God gave us at creation. Our mind, it's our ability to reason and to think things through. And our strength, what he's saying there is it takes an active effort to love God. We have to do, be proactive with it. And then he gives us one more step. And what he says is to love God and love others the same way. These are the two greatest commandments, to love God and love others. And when we do that in our life, everything else will fall into place.